Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to backup and restore your user manager database. So you need to log in to user manager. Oh. Okay. Click on maintenance. And then you're going to click on save. To back up the database and then you're going to choose what it is that you want to save so this is the main database this is the logs and this is languages so we're going to select all three hit save and now we have created a backup of user manager so the next step is to save this backup offline because it it is <coughs> it is um important that you save your backups externally to your router just in case something goes wrong with your router uh, you don't lose all the information so it's best to save that information somewhere else so click on download and you're going to click on this link that says click here if the pop-up didn't show up click on it it's going to ask you to download the backup it's save save as so if you want to choose a location I'm going to choose the same location here it's save and then now you can actually open that file. The file is actually a tar file, which is a compressed file. So it contains two files in it, which is a log file, a log, a database log, and a maintainer, and a main log, main file. So the main database contains like the user account, the sessions, you know, the profiles and, and stuff like that. So Say for instance, you want to restore that database now back to your router. You need to click on Upload Backup, click Browse, then choose the backup that you want to restore. Click on that backup, click OK, and now you're going to choose Upload. Sorry, let me, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just rename one of these just to make it unique. So I'm going to rename and I'm going to upload that one and then click upload and now you are seeing now the backup that we have uploaded so if you want to restore that backup so you need to check it click load and then you choose what you want to restore so if you want to replace existing language you can you can actually choose that I'm going to click it load and now we have just restored our backup so that is how you go about backing up and restoring your user manager database so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please remember to do so and also leave a comment if you have a question and that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching